On this episode of Super Starts with Miss Rebecca, that's me, we'll be learning about the letter C and cars because C is for car. We will sing songs, play games like red light, green light, go on a field trip to see antique cars, practice our colors counting shapes, our letter C sound, and other preschool skills. Super Starts is an online preschool that gives little ones a super start to their early childhood education. Let's go! I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad you're here today. Let's give a cheer. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here today. Hi, I'm Miss Rebecca, and today we're going to be learning about cars and the letter C. C is for k k car. There's a car right here. Rum, rum. And a letter C right here. We have big C and little c. They look pretty much the same. They're both in this shape. C, big C and little c. C is for cake, k, k, cake. C, k, k, cake. I love cake and I also love cars. Oh look, there's a letter C right over here. We're gonna learn all sorts of things about cars today. I'm gonna show you antique cars. We're gonna go drive some cool cars outside because we're gonna go outside. We're also gonna talk about some street and pedestrian safety because we have to watch out for cars. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play an imaginative game. Some pretend play of driving a car. Follow me. Whoa, have a look at this cool car. Let's drive this car. We're gonna pretend to drive this car. Okay, let's close the door. Close. Okay, now I need to put something on for safety. What's something I might have to put on before I can drive away? Did you say seat belt? You are right. I have to put on my seat belt. You can too if you're gonna pretend to play along with me and drive your car. All right. Let's put on our seatbelt. Click. Okay, let's drive to the beach. First, since we're parked in our driveway, we're gonna have to back up the car. All right, get in gear and start backing up the car. Let's look behind us so we know if anything's there, okay? We're backing up, beep, beep, beep. Okay, let's go forward now. Step on the pedal a little bit. Grab our steering wheel and we are driving. Oh, let's turn right, right here. We're turning right. Good job. Driving again. And now we're turning left. Did you turn left? Good job. All right, we gotta get to the beach. Oh, what's that up ahead? What is that? It's a sign. What kind of sign is that? A stop sign? Oh, we better stop. Let's hit the brake. Urgh. Whew, good thing we stopped in time before we got to the stop sign. All right, we're stopping and we're looking around for other cars and maybe some people crossing the road. Oh, there's no one, no cars. Now we can drive through. Oh look, I think the beach is up ahead. Let's pull into the beach parking lot. We're pulling in. Let's get out of our car. Oh, we're at the beach. I see ocean. There's ocean all around and sand. And the sky is blue. It's beautiful out. Oh, it's been so fun at this beach, but it's time to get in our car and drive again. Ready? Let's get in our car. Whoop, close the door. Seat belt on. Put the car in gear. And we're ready to drive. Okay, we're driving out of the parking lot. Oh no! Something has come up on our dashboard. There's a symbol there. It's telling us to do something. It's a warning sign. What do you think it wants us to do? 
Hmm. I think we need to fill our car with something. Something that helps make it go. What do we fill our car with? Gas. That's right, we need to go to the gas station and fill up with some gas. So let's drive to the gas station. Here we go, driving to the gas station. Okay, let's turn left right here. Great job. And turn right. Going right. Oh, there's an intersection up here with some lights. What does it say at the intersection? There's a light and it's the color red. What should we do? Oh, we should stop. We stop at a red light. Red light means stop, just like a stop sign. A stop sign's red too. Let's stop. Urch. Good job stopping. All right, now we wait. And we wait for the light to turn green. Oh, it turned green. Now we can go, right? Because green means go. Let's speed up a little bit. Push on the pedal. Go faster. We're speeding up. Great job. Oh, here's the gas station. Let's go in and fill up with some gas. So we're going to pull into the gas station. Urge, stop the car, park the car. All right, let's go to the gas pump and put some gas in the car. Here we go. We're filling the car with some gas. We put the nozzle in to the gas tank here and we're filling it up. And now we wait and we wait and it's done. All right, let's put the pump back. Woo, get back in our car, close the door, seat belt on and drive again. We're driving. Let's go home. It's been a great day and now we're gonna drive home. Turn right, turn left. Speed up a little bit. We're driving straight. We're going fast. We're going real fast. We're going real fast. We must be on the highway. Woo! Oh, now we're going slow. We must be getting close to home. Let's pull into our driveway. Let's park our car. Park. And now we're home. Great job driving with me. That was super fun. Let's make a letter C out of these puzzle pieces. Each of our puzzle pieces have a word on them. Ooh, this one says clown. And here's a little clown. Looks so silly. And then we have crayons. K -k crayons. And a carrot. Carrot starts with C. K -k carrot. And cake. K -k cake. Mmm, that looks like a nice birthday cake. Okay, let's put our puzzle together. Let's start seeing if any of these fit. Sometimes the trial and error approach is good. We try something, if it doesn't work, you take it apart and you try again. Try and try again. Oh, well that was lucky. That one did fit into this one. Whew, got lucky. Okay, let's see. Does the k, -k clown fit next to the k, -k crayons? It's kind of stuck. It's not really going together. Eh. Ah, okay. We tried it. Didn't work. Let's try something else. Let's try the cake piece next to the crayons now. Ooh, that's looking good. But it doesn't look like a C yet. We still have one piece left. Our k -k clown. Okay. Maybe it fits here. This seems like it's the only spot left where a piece can go. And it fits. We did it. We made our letter C. C is for clown, cake, crayons, and carrot. Do you hear the k, k sound at the beginning of every word? K, k clown. Yeah, we did it. C says k, k. C is for clown, k, k clown. C, k, k clown. We did it. K, k. Cool. Let's look at some colors of cars, or we can call them vehicles. Starting with this one. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color 
Yellow. That's right, this one's yellow. Rum, rum. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color red. Yes, it's red. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color blue. That's right. This one's blue. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color orange. That's right. This one's orange. Rum, rum. Hmm, even the word color starts with the letter C. K, k, color. K, k, color. C is for color. K, k, color. C. K, k, color. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color. Purple. Yeah. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color black. That's right, it's a black car. Rum, rum. One more to do. What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? What color vehicle is this? It is the color green. Well, thank you for helping me figure out the colors of all these cars. You did a super, super job. We're at a cool place called Gasoline Alley. We're gonna check out some antique cars today. Come with me. This is Gasoline Alley, a museum for antique cars. Antique means old and valuable. It means something is collectible. So this is a big collection of antique cars, and I'm so excited for us to learn about some of the history of cars together. Did you know that the first car was invented nearly 150 years ago? Wow, that's a long time ago. Now let's take a closer look at these antique cars. This is a green truck. It's called a fuel tanker, and it transports fuel. It transports gas. And here's another fuel tanker. It too transports gas. It's bigger. Check out this gas pump for filling your car with gas. And this is the old style for what they used to look like a long time ago. Gas is the fuel that makes a car move. Cool, it's a tow truck, a red tow truck for towing around other vehicles. This is super cool. It's one of the earliest designs of a motorized vehicle, one of the first cars humans have ever made. This antique car is called a Chase Auto Delivery Wagon, and it's over a hundred years old. It has big wheels and a tall steering wheel. Now this antique car is a dump truck. Check it out. It's green and has been restored and taken care of to look shiny and new. Dump trucks are super cool because you can fill them with dirt and other things, fill them up and go dump them out. Here's an old car. It has a lot of rust on it as a lot of old cars often do. Sometimes we restore cars, like many of the cars here that have been fixed up and look shiny and painted again. But this one still has a lot of the old rust. Blue car and green car and another blue car and a teal car. Ooh. Check out this part of a car where we can see inside what it looks like. We have the tires. And we have the crank. If you spin this around, that's how you start the engine. We have headlights. One, two, and then come over here. You can see the engine right here. That's inside the car that makes the car move. And the foot pedals. Cars 
car designs have changed a lot over time, but it's neat to see the old style and that you could start an engine with a crank. Let's go see something else, follow me. Check out this car right here. It's a regular type of car or a touring car that a normal family might have to drive around town or the city where they live. It's gray. Whoa, look at the green rims on this vehicle. Ooh, and the headlights have gold plating. Hey, have a look at this cool old truck. Now this one hasn't been restored in any way, so we're seeing it as it was, which is kind of worn out and old, or very worn out and old. You can see what it's made of though, look. It was made of wood and metal, and it's rusted a bit, you can see it rusting. Ooh, the tires are made of rubber and this string, or it looks like rope. Now the frame of this truck is a little lopsided. Whoa, it's old. Whoa, we're driving this car. Look, it has pedals for your feet. Push the gas pedal. Okay, now push the brake. Whoa, we're stopping. Ooh, a gear shift. Cool. Ooh, this truck is really cool. It was used for moving goods. And by goods, we mean things like groceries and other things that people can buy. Let's go look. This is what we use to store things in. In a pretend grocery store. Cool, it's a truck for moving money in. A special truck because, well, money's valuable, so you have to use a special truck to transport it. Here's an old style one. If you look up at the ceiling, you can see logos of gas companies. Have a look. These are old logos from companies way back. Some of them still exist, but their logos have mostly changed. Gas companies sell gas, and gas is the fuel that makes a car move. Have a look at this car. It's a Ford. Ford is a car company that still makes cars today. Look at these old gas pumps. Hey, this is kind of unusual. It's a portable gas pump. Come look. You can move it around by holding the handle and driving it. And then of course over here is the pump itself that you take off to fill the cars with gas. That's kind of unique. Oh, and another gas pump over here. Now this one wasn't portable, meaning it wasn't one you could move around, but it is an antique one. So it's the older look of what you might find if you were trying to fill it with gas a long time ago. But over here we have what a gas pump kind of looks like today when you go to the gas station. Come check it out. Oh, we could put our credit card in here, put our money in here, press our buttons, choose the kind of gas we want, and then take the pump and put it in our car to fill it up with gas. 
Ooh, check out this station wagon vehicle, which is like a big car for big families to bring themselves and their things around. It's peach or a pink color. Check out this old vacation trailer, or you can call it a camper that families would take to go on vacations. Look! This trailer has a kitchen, a bed for sleeping in, and a table you can sit at. This car is meant to look like it's at a drive-in theater, which used to be a popular way to go see movies, where you could watch a movie on a big screen from your car. Look at this beautiful antique red tow truck. Amazing! Early designs of cars didn't have any doors. Thanks for coming to Gasoline Alley with me to see the antique cars. It was super cool! Let's sing I'm a Little Race Car to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. I'm a little race car, fast and low, driving all around, it's quite a show. I'm a little race car, this I know, zooming past, go, go, go. It's time to color our letter C coloring page. We have the letter C right here. This is big C and our little C looks the same, just smaller. This is Carson Cat, a cat driving a car and we're gonna color this in. Let's sing our Carson Cat song and then we'll color it. All right, let's go sing. Our Carson Cat song goes to the tune of Hot Cross Buns, which goes, Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Okay, so for our Carson Cat song, there are some actions. When we say cat, you can show your paws. And when we talk about cruising, which is the word for driving, you can pretend to drive your steering wheel. So it's gonna sound and look like this. Carson Cat, Carson Cat, Carson Cat can cruise in a colorful car. Just like that. All right, now it's your turn to do it with me. Ready? All right. Carson Cat, Carson Cat, Carson Cat can cruise in a colorful car. Good job. Now it's time to color. Okay. I am gonna start by coloring the car red. I think a red car looks really pretty. But you can color your picture if you're coloring this too. Whatever color you want. You don't have to color the same as me. Just color your way. Now I'm being as careful as I can to stay inside the lines. I might not be doing a perfect job, but that's okay. This is all coloring practice. And it's okay to make coloring mistakes. No big deal. I'm gonna make the cat orange like a tabby cat. And I think I'm gonna add some different colors for some of the other details, like pink for the cat ears and nose and paws, and maybe some blue on the windshield of the car and the windows, and maybe some black and gray for the tires and other accents on the car. All right, here we go.
Oh, let's not forget to color our letter C as well. Okay, big C, let's color that in. I'm coloring it blue. And then our little C, which again looks the same as big C, but it's just smaller. Whew, that was a lot of work coloring, but it was a lot of fun. It's fun to practice. Let's make a car out of these cool magnet toys. We have different shapes. Cool, maybe we'll get to learn about some shapes. And we have wheels for our car. And huh, I wonder what we're gonna use that for. Well, let's get building and see if we can make a car. Maybe I'll start with one of these square pieces and put the wheels on it. One. Two. Woo! That's a good start to our car. What shape is this? Oh, this is also a square. You're right. Okay, let's put it on here. Oh, it fits. Now we can stick some of the other magnet pieces to it. Ooh, here's a yellow square. We've got like a cube on wheels. I think this would look more like a car if we had some front wheels and a set of back wheels too. One. Oh no. Click. Click. All right, these are gonna be our back wheels. Let's put this square on top. Click and make another cube shape. That's a three-dimensional shape made out of squares. I wonder how we're gonna connect these two sets of wheels. Let's see. Oh, how about this one? What shape is this? That's a tricky one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six sides to this shape. It's a hexagon. Let's stick it there and attach another one right here. Carefully, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna put a square on the bottom here. And maybe now we can connect it to the other set of wheels. Whoa, it's all attached. Ooh, let's see what else we can add to this car to make it look more complete. I'll put some squares around the hexagons to attach them like that. What shape is this one? It has three sides. It's a triangle. Put it there. Woo. And another one. And another one. Woo. Maybe we'll put one more square on the front of our car. Woo, it's all done. Rum rum. Rum rum rum. Rum. Beep beep. Beep beep. Let's go play with some cars and play some car games over in the field behind me. Nice grassy area, it's gonna be fun. To go over there though, we're gonna have to cross the road. And to do that safely, we should remember our pedestrian safety rules. So the first thing is we should find a crosswalk if there is one, as that will be the safest place for us to cross. We need to be very careful because cars can be dangerous. The next thing we do when we're ready to cross is we put out our arm so that cars know that we're gonna cross the road. Okay, the next thing we need to do is look both ways. We look left and we look right and we even double check to make extra sure there are no cars coming. If a car does come, make sure the car comes to a complete stop and you can make eye contact with the driver to make sure they see you. We don't want to assume a car sees us. So once the car has stopped, we can cross. All right, let's do it for real. 
We put out our arm, we look left, we look right, check again, and we go. Woo, we made it to the other side. Time to go have some fun and play. I brought this really cool remote control car. It's a monster truck. Vroom, vroom. Okay, and I've got the remote control right here. I'll show you how it works. Now we're gonna drive it on this path here. Okay, take a look at my remote control. The left side here, this knob is for going forward and backward. Forward and backward. It makes the car move back and forth forward and backward. This knob is for turning the car right and left, right and left. For the remote control to work and the car to move, we have to use the forward and backward knob at the same time. So it goes forward and then we can turn it left and right. And we can also go backwards, left and right. Whee! Woo. Let's take our car for a walk. Let's play a game of red light, green light and pretend to be cars. How it works is I'm gonna say green light and you're gonna run around. You can either run on the spot or you can run around until I say red light and then you have to stop. Let's play. Green light. We're running for green light. Red light. Did you freeze? Good job. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Good job being cars. Beep beep. Check out these cool little monster trucks. Rum, rum. I've got a red one. I've got a green one. A purple one. And an orange one. Let's count how many we have. We have one, two, three, four. Well, that was pretty easy counting. Let's do something tricky. Let's do some addition. That is math. Okay, let's do some addition. First question, what's one plus one? Well, we can count them to find out. One, two, it equals two. What's two plus one? Well, let's count them. One, two, three. There's three. Two plus one is three. All together, we have three. Now for the tricky question. What's two plus two? How many cars is two plus two? Let's count them. One, two, three, Four. The answer is four. We have four monster trucks. Rum, rum. Let's see them go. Zoom. Zoom. Rum. These are so fun. Whoa! 
check out this super cool Jeep. Wow. It has a steering wheel, a key. We turn it, pretend to turn on the Jeep, vroom vroom. We can go beep beep and the door is open. Let's get in the Jeep. Woo, I'm a bit big for it. That's okay. We're in, ready? Let's drive. Whoa! We're going fast. Let's see if we can go backwards. Whoa! We're going backwards. And forwards again. These cars are so much fun. Hey, wait a minute. Which car is the biggest car? Which one's the biggest? Yeah, it's this one. This big Jeep, woo, is the biggest car. Okay, which one is the smallest car? Yeah, this little orange one right here. Okay, which car is the medium-sized car? Yeah, this one. This one's the medium-sized car. I had a lot of fun playing with all these cars with you. You sure know a lot about cars. Good job today. What's that sound? It sounds like a police car. Police car, police car, I hear you driving from afar. Wee woo, wee woo, I hear your sound. Police car, police car, police car, I hear you driving from afar. Wee woo, wee woo, I hear your sound. Police car. Let's practice drawing our letter C. Let's begin with capital C or big C. Writing the letter C is kind of like drawing a circle, except we don't close it all the way. Near the top of our page, we can put our pen down and go around. There is our capital C, our big C. Now let's draw our little C or lowercase c. It looks the exact same, it's just smaller. All right, halfway up the page, we can go around, ready? There's our big C and our little C. Great job. Time to practice writing our letter C. Big C is a round shape. It goes around. We can start just above our dotted line here and go around and stop before we touch the other side, leaving a gap right here in the middle like that to make a C. Let's practice. I'm using a marker. I'm gonna put my marker down here at the top and go around and stop. Okay, and a really important thing to do is not lift up our pen or our marker as we write it. Okay, let's practice again. Putting our marker down up here and trace around. Whoa, I think I was a bit wobbly that time, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll get better if I keep practicing. One more time up here, around. Whoa, I think that was my best one yet. All right, let's move on and practice some little C's now. Little C is the same, but we draw it small and below our dotted line down here. Okay, I've got pink this time. Let's use our pink marker starting right here. We're gonna go around whoo, and stop. Okay, same thing again around and stop. We go from here, touch the top of the dotted line and go around down to our line at the bottom and come back up, but stop. So there's a little gap for our letter C. Good job drawing letter C with me.
Check out this cool toy. It's a ramp for some little cars. We have a red car and a blue car. And this really cool ramp it goes down this way, then this way, then this way, then this way. I wonder what's going to happen when we put the cars on the top of the ramp. Let's try it. All right, let's send this red car down the ramp first. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, it went all the way down. Let's try the blue car now. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Woo! The car goes down the ramp one way and then it goes down the other side. The reason it does that is because it's sloped downward. Gravity pulls things down and because these cars have wheels that are round, they can rotate and roll. Roll down the ramp, roll, 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 all the way down to the bottom. Let's try it one more time with each car. Here goes the red car. Whee! Oh, it got stuck. Let's try it again. Whee! Whoa, and the blue one. Whoa. These little cars, they don't have motors, so they have to rely on something to push them or pull them down like gravity. Check out this really cool car. It's yellow. Wow, it's so cool. We're going on a field trip. Let's sing Wheels on the Bus for our bus ride. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut. Open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all through the town. The babies on the bus go where, 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 where. On the bus go where 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 all through the town. The mommies on the bus say shh 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 shh. The mommies on the bus say shh 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 all through the town. The children on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus go up down all through the town. Hey look, a tiny red car. Rum, rum. C is for car. K, k, car. C, k, k, car. Nyum. Let's make a craft. It's going to be a car. What we have is some paper. Ooh, these are primary colors. Primary colors are special colors because you can't make them by mixing any other colors together. So that's blue, red, and yellow. For our primary colors, we have a toilet roll, a good round cylinder shape for us to use, a straw, we have some bottle caps, and we have a couple of extra little crafty pieces for decorating. And then we have a screwdriver, hmm be interesting to see how we use that. A pencil, scissors, and some glue. Okay, let's get started on our craft. And I'm gonna start with my red piece of paper as this is gonna be a red car and trace around the end of my toilet roll. I'm gonna do this twice. 
Now, what I actually wanna do is make a circle just a bit bigger than the end of the toilet roll. So I am just gonna freehand draw around it, and it doesn't have to be perfect. A bigger circle and the same with the other one. Now let's cut these out. Now we're gonna cut little notches into the circle from the outside one touching the inside one, roughly like that. That's gonna allow us to fold around the ends of our toilet roll. And we're gonna tape down some of the edges here. To our red piece of paper we're gonna measure how long of a piece we need about there so that we can make a cover for the outside of our car now this is the body of the car let's cut a square out of our piece of paper let's see if it's the right size if it's not we can always try again that looks good now on a red piece of paper, before we attach it, we're gonna draw a line and a round shape to make a semicircle. Let's cut that out. Now we've wrapped our red piece of paper back around the toilet roll and we're just gonna trace the shape that's here. Okay, let's cut into this. We'll have to be careful since we want to still use this flat piece. It certainly isn't a perfect job, but that's okay. Let's flip that up. Now this will make a seat, a seat for a person to, you know, pretend ride in it. Zoom, zoom. Let's get a piece of tape. There, we have the body of our car. Cool. Now, let's add some wheels. This is where the screwdriver is going to come in handy. First, we need to poke holes in each of our bottle caps as close to the center of each bottle cap as we can. Now, let's cut our straw in half. We can find the halfway mark by folding it in half so that it's even and cut. We're gonna mark on the sides of our car where we wanna poke holes. Let's put our straw through. Oh, there we go. That was tricky. Let's do the back ones now. And now our other straw can go through. Let's put the wheels on. Now it's time to decorate. Maybe I can use these two white circles to have headlights on the front of our car. Let's glue those on. Beep, beep. Let's make some racing stripes out of blue paper. I'm gonna draw a little star and we can put it on the hood of the car. There's a lot of paper left here and a lot of paper left even on this blue. So I'm gonna keep these for another craft. I'm even gonna keep this one for another craft since there's lots left to use. We don't wanna waste anything if we can help it.
Now my star isn't perfect and my whole car isn't perfect either, but that's okay. It was really just about having fun and we made a car in the end and it's great. And because it's not perfect, it's gonna be unique. It's gonna be one of a kind that I made myself and I'm proud of it. We did it, we finished our car. Cool, k -k cool, k -k car. C is for car, k -k car, C. Car. Now we get to play with it. Rum, 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 rum. Rum, rum, rum. Rum, 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 rum. We could even put a toy in it right here. What a cool car. Beep, beep. Rum, rum, rum. Hey, little firefighters. We're at the station. Ring, ring. Hello? There's a fire. We're on our way. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry. Climb the ladder, ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Ding, 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 ding. Let's make a puzzle of this car. It's a red car. Beep, beep, rum, rum. Okay, let's put it here. Now we need five puzzle pieces for this puzzle. So let's count to make sure we have them all. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five puzzle pieces, so we are ready to make this puzzle. Let's turn them over. Okay, we have this so that we know what we're trying to make. So it goes here. And now we try and put the pieces together. Hmm. Well, a lot of the pieces look really similar. There's a lot of red going on, so how am I gonna figure this out? Hmm. Well, if I look at this, I see two wheels. Maybe we can find the two wheel pieces and see if they go together. Here's one wheel and here's the other. Let's see if these pieces fit together. Ugh. They kind of fit together. Maybe this is right. Okay, what else do we have? Well, these are both kind of rounded at the top. Maybe they go together. Huh, you know, that doesn't look right. That looks kind of strange. Hmm, so that's not right. Good guess, I think. Maybe they do go together, but instead of this way, which wasn't a fit, maybe they go together this way. Hmm, now it looks like the top of the car can attach to the bottom of the car. Hang on a second, that's not right. Not only does this not fit, but we have an extra piece still right here. Something is wrong with our puzzle. Time to problem solve. What should we do? Hmm, well, if we look at the original car, one thing I notice that's different about how we've put the puzzle pieces together here is that this car has two yellow handles. One, two in our car right here something is wrong i only see one in this little tiny bit of yellow here this piece though has some yellow right here maybe we can back up even though these fit together hmm, maybe not perfectly i can see through the pieces there even though they fit it's not right take it apart oh maybe this piece now goes here our extra piece that we had left Ooh, that's looking good. And the other one? 
Much better! Hey, maybe now the roof of the car can go on. We did it! We have a big car and a small car. Beep, 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 beep. Whoa, that was a really tricky puzzle. I'm glad you helped me with it. That was a hard one. Let's sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Are you ready? Okay, get in your boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life was but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Rum, rum, rum. Beep, beep. Rum, rum, rum. Beep, beep. Hey, it's a car. What color is this car? Did you say blue? You did? Well, good job. It is blue. You're smart. You must be good at colors. Hey, I think the word color starts with the letter C. K -k color. And so does car. K -k car and k -k color. Cool. Wait, cool starts with C too. How silly. K -k cool. What color is this car? Did you say green? Yeah, it is green. Very good. Ooh, another car. What color is it? What color? Yellow? That's right, it is yellow. It looks like a taxi car. Ooh, a taxi is a kind of car that you can take to get somewhere. It comes and picks you up, beep beep, and then it drives you to where you're trying to go. Here comes another colored car. What color is this car? Did you say red? That's right, it is a red car. Beep beep. What is this color of car now? It's orange. Yeah, orange. Rum, rum. Here's another car. What color is this one? Purple. Yeah, and it even has some red flame markings on the side. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but this car is purple. Rum, rum, rum. Oh, this car has a few different colors on it. What colors do you see? I think I heard black, white, oh, and there's even yellow and a tiny bit of red on the top for the siren because this is a police car. Wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, police car. And we have one more car. What color is it? It's a little bit shiny. A little bit metallic-y colored, a little bit shiny. It's silver, but it also looks gray. So if you said silver or gray, that seems right to me. Cool, beep beep. Wow, you really know your colors. Super job, my friend. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to join me for more of my Alphabet series episodes with a new theme and letter of the day. Just visit my channel to find the playlist for the series. Also, check out the description of this video so that you can find more resources and information about the show. And if you want to support the show, be sure to subscribe and recommend it to others. See you next time!